Hello, welcome to Engineering Mechanics. Here we're going to work this problem. Again, we'll need to use principle of moments because what we have is a central pole that uh, you can see how tall it is. It's the sum of this 12 foot distance up to this rope and the six foot distance up to the top of the rope there. And there's two ropes, one of them attached to the top and the person here is pulling on that rope with 30 pounds of force. So you kind of have, I drew it with an arrow, but really the rope is extending all the way down to the person. He's pulling with 30 pounds of force. There's a 45 degree angle involved in that. And then there's a shallower angle um, rope here that is being pulled uh, by person B. And in this case, we don't actually give you the angle. We give you this three, four, five triangle thing, which you should know by now basically allows you to calculate the angle. So we have the distances, we have the, one of the forces, but we do not know how much person B is actually pulling with. And the question says, what force does person B pull with to keep the pole from rotating about this point O? It's a very common problem in mechanics where you'll be given one half of, one, uh, half of the forces involved, and then you're asked to calculate what other force is involved in order to keep the thing from moving, in this case from rotating. So the, fund the fundamental thing to realize here is that this force, even though we're pulling at this angle, you can think of it in terms of really two forces. Uh, where the rope is joining up here to the uh, top here, we can think of this rope forming a horizontal force pointing this way and a vertical uh, force pulling down. All right, and then, and also, I drew this pole kind of fat, but I need you to think about it as infinitely thin or really thin pole here, so there's really no distance between where this rope attaches and where this rope attaches, uh, horizontal distance anyway. And then this force, pulling with unknown force B, can be thought of as a horizontal force this way and a vertical force going down. So, what we want to figure out is what force does he need to pull with. So in order to think about that, you need to realize that this force, this rope, is causing a rotational moment about this point. In other words, this guy's pulling, he's, this whole pull is trying to rotate in that sense, which is counterclockwise, which is basically a positive moment. So this guy is going to have to pull to counteract that. And what you really need to realize is this rope is causing a moment here, this rope is causing a moment here, and we just need to figure out how, to, how they balance each other. Okay, now the easiest way to do that is to find the moments due uh, to the horizontal and the vertical components of this force over here, and then we'll break this one up into a horizontal and vertical component, and we'll balance the components. So basically, the moment due to the horizontal forces the moments have to be equal and opposite so that the thing doesn't move, okay? And then the vertical, uh, uh, the vertical forces, a similar uh, thing needs to happen there. So the way to write that down mathematically, okay, it's basically